We are so happy to have you all here. Thank Talking you. emotional Thanks. maturity. Yeah. Let's go down the line, just first of all. Emotional, because I think there's an age that you don't mature past. What would be yours? I'm 16. Um, probably like 11. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. you're really going young. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't be much older than 11. I was actually going to say younger. I was going to say like seven or eight. Say it. Yeah, seven or say eight. Say it, yeah. Put it out there. Yeah. Really? There you go, probably. Well, I think I'm four. <laughs> <laughs> you guys must have a lot of so fun I on went. set together then. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. So I read Blocks. something. <laughs> so uh, I read something about an actor date. You, I think you said this about you two. I think you two had to do a screen test together, just sort of like a chemistry. Read. I've never been heard. Of I think John, our director, probably called it an actor. Date. An actor date. I've never yeah. heard it referred to no. in those terms People before. People don't. No. <laughs> but it kind of is in a sense. It's almost like speed dating. Let's let's have ten minutes and let's see if we have chemistry. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it was very. I think often. Um, you know, when, when Dane came in and auditioned, like, he, he was amazing. It was, not only did he kind of look in, extremely like Lucian Carr, but he also, you know, gave a great performance, and John and I were incredibly excited. And then, in terms of chemistry, I think what people often mean by chemistry is just sort of being interested in each other and, like, offset, right. like, spending a bit of time and getting to know one another. And, and, you know, on a film like this, you're shooting very fast and a lot of very intense scenes, you, you tend to get to know each other quite well. And don't you think, do you think that would be great and good in life, though, too? Because it's like somebody else decides whether or not you have chemistry. Well, so, so you, are you suggesting some sort of business venture where you you go on people's dates for them? Yes, or with no, them? it would be fantastic because think about it. Well, now I go, I'm not always the best judge of who's good for me. It would be kind of good to have so somebody else decide. You let people know. Yeah. It's not going to go any further. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you He's ever watched? Not that into have you. you ever watched Millionaire Matchmaker? That's no. basically that show, except that she doesn't make the dates. Yeah. Do you watch Millionaire Matchmaker? I have watched Millionaire really? Matchmaker. Yeah. In New York City, is there a different shooting there? Because I would imagine, depending on where you're shooting, you know, certain cities you would go and there'd be like people. They're not used to seeing actors, but in New York City, it's almost like move out of my way. We're, we're, we got we got somewhere to go. You guys have probably shot in more cities than me. Um, yeah, well, New York's a great place to make a movie, honestly. Um, I mean, this film, again, like, we didn't have a lot of money, so we couldn't block off, like, an entire block. We could really only <laughs> block off, like, <laughs> ten feet of the sidewalk, you know? Right. So we weren't really in the way so much, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, it, it's a city that welcomes, uh, the film community is cer certainly, uh, lately, like, so much stuff shoots there now, yeah. and it's a really great place to work. So speaking of having fun at college, we kind of have a game for you guys about the college life. Anyone go to college? Uh, no, I didn't. Here? Great. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a hypothetical if you were well, in college, you went to okay? A, a kind of school. A kind of school, yeah, there you go. Yes, you did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, there yeah you go. that's so the you same. Went, you went to a school. Yeah. Okay. Went to it. So here we go. Was Question it, one. College life. What social group were you? Did you belong to? Were you more? You can't see the theater group. That's out. Okay. okay. You more uh, like the prepster, okay. the jock, the hipster, the intellectual, the goth. Which one were you, Michael? They had this. They had this um, sort of um, adjacent to the main cafeteria. They had what was called the friends room. Uh, it was a Quaker what? school, <laughs> and it was really like the no friends room, and I, I ate in there. <laughs> that was like the loser's lounge? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds wild. I know, crazy, right? It sounds crazy, like a right? crazy college experience. Yeah. What about you, Dane? Um, I don't know. I mean, I went to an art school, uh, so it's hard not to say, like, the theater kid, because... you were all theater kids. We were all theater kids. And within the theater kids, were there, like, the jocks, the, you know, were there the more... There were so many jocks. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane, we're the amount of jocks. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, there were no jocks. <laughs> there what were no frat about boys. Art and, art and football, they just don't go together somehow. We had right? no sports teams. You know. <laughs> and how about your hypothetical? Which would you have belonged to? Uh, um, Quakers, same as Michael. <laughs> um, I don't know. You'd be in the lounge together, yeah. hanging yeah. out. Okay, which would be more awkward, or which was more awkward? Co ed bathrooms? or having a really awful roommate, which you had in the film. Your roommate was heinous. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, no, I, well I suppose, I think having a really awful roommate with God has suck, because there's no getting away from that ever. Yeah. There's no getting out of the co-ed bathroom either. Maybe it's worse for a girl that's than for a guy. Titillating. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not, that, <laughs> doesn't, that doesn't hold the same fears, I don't think. <laughs> there's no fear, it's like, wait, I have to go to the bathroom again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't really have to go. So everybody across the board, the really awful roommate. Did yeah, either of you have an awful roommate situation? I think I might have been the awful roommate. <laughs> How so? Well, I remember one time waking up with my roommate pinching my nose so I'd stop snoring. 
I guess that makes him the awful roommate. <laughs> <right? laughs> he was trying to kill you. Yeah. This is not. This is not good. Okay, taking a test. What would be your style? Are you studying the week before, cramming the night before, pulling an all-nighter? I love that you're doing this. I, yeah, I gotta keep it. It's the only way. I can or it are you just looking on someone's page the day of the test? Wow. I was never good enough at school that I could like afford to not work for long periods of time, so I had to try and put work in if I wanted to be average. You're studying. I had to study to get anywhere, yeah. Uh, I, I like might cram the night before, or I just might let myself fail the <laughs> test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely pulled some all-nighters. You did? Yeah. You were the last minute, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I, I aspired to be number one, but there were times where I fell back to number two. Right, right. And the old, yeah. <laughs> Count right. Yeah. Yeah, those are his options. And the old, um, you know, the doorknob tie trick, the sock on the doorknob, what? ever had? Oh, know that means it? somebody's having sex in the room? Oh, well, I, I meant kissing, but if you want to just put that out there, then yeah. We're kissing in the room? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on. College experience. You went to a Quaker school. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what you were yeah. doing. We're sharing our Trying inner together. light. Any naughty moments that you can share? With Quakers. With Quakers? Any Quaker <laughs> naughty moments? Um, you know, the, the school is really comprised of only 18% Quakers, so it's hard to say. <laughs> hey, uh, the more, the more like secular side of Quakerism pervaded the, you know, people who were interested in consensus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but sure, I mean, yeah, there were, there were naughty, I mean, you know, it's college. Okay, and, and moving on, moving on. A-list advice, you guys are all such A-listers in this business, to somebody starting out. Uh, I, I don't know, I mean, just, uh, I don't know what advice it would be, just like, in, enjoy your job, you're lucky to be doing it, because there's millions of people out there that killed me. Uh, yeah, gosh, I mean, just, you know, make sure you're doing it for all the right reasons, yeah. and um, if that's the case, then like, go at it hard, you know? Yeah, and if, and if uh, no one's giving you a chance to do it, find a way to do it on your own. Find a way to do it with uh, other people who are like-minded and, you know, get something going that you initiate or generate. And last but not least, I think this is a coming-of-age story, and you sort of start out not knowing you're this Columbia student and you sort of like explore a different side of yourself, find a different side of yourself. Did you guys ever have a moment young, when you were young and said, when I grow up, I want to be this? It, I mean, I, I remember, but even when I started, I wasn't sure it was what I wanted to be doing. And there was a moment when I was about 14 when I was like, yeah, no, this is, this is what I want to do. And I, I think it was, you know, getting to work with people like uh, Gary Oldman and David Thewlis at that age and, and just seeing like what, uh, getting excited by what they did with their performances. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I wanted to be a professional basketball player but I wasn't tall enough, couldn't really go to my right, and wasn't really a very good shooter. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem for being a pro basketball player. Yeah. Just, just a few things. Yeah. Just a few things. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for coming in. Thank you very much. This was a real pleasure. Thank you, pleasure. Are you going to give us a Super Bowl prediction before we go out? Aren't you a football fan? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think probably, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'll probably say two teams that are in the same conference now, so they might not be able to both get there. I'm not sure if I'm just getting it right, but I would say Saints-Broncos. There you go. He's put it out there. Saints-Broncos. Yeah.